Hey everyone and welcome to a video where I show you how to put in custom textures and custom music in Mario Kart Wii. So, so when you download um, CGP for Mario Kart Wii, you will see this folder called My Stuff, and my st the My Stuff folder basically allows you to put extra things into Mario Kart Wii that's already been, aside from the usual custom tracks that are automatically added. So the My Stuff folder allows you to put in the custom music and the uh, custom uh, textures for the normal tracks. So if you guys don't really know what I'm talking about, um, pretty much in my first eight episodes I showcase the custom textures on the normal tracks for you guys. And yeah, and that's really what I did for the most of the first eight, and then I, then I went to the top 90 countdown. But I just wanted to show you how to do this first, and so I wanted to. So I wanted to show you an actual video on how to actually do it yourself. Um, yes, yeah, so the first thing I'm going to show you is how to get the custom textures because it's really, really easy. The custom textures are probably the most easiest thing to do. So you just go to this and all the links I'm going to be using on the web browser I'll be putting in the description today, guys. So just note that. So you just go to the, this list of textured hack tracks. Now this is where you get every, this is a list of every texture hack for every single track. Like for Luigi Circuit, there's foul, there's like a hundred or so. There's like so many here. And the one I used was uh, the one by Darky Benji. I'm not sure where it was. This is actually the first track I played for you guys. There's Darky Circuit, this one here. <coughs> so this is the one I played for you guys when I did. Um, my when I started this, my series, and so yeah, so all you got to do for this guys is literally you just got to have to all you do is click on the track, and then if there's a download link, then click on the download link, and it will automatically download a file for you guys. And in that file, it may or may not have already the correct name, is what I should say. And when I say name, I mean when you when you are putting custom textures in there's going to be this it's a Z, Z, SCS file but the game will not recognize the file if it doesn't got the right name on it so I'm pretty sure the Luigi circuit one is called beginner course dot Z SCS and so just so you know guys all the um, file names are in this link here so you have to if you want if you want a custom texture Luigi circuit, you have to make sure you download the texture and then call, make sure it's renamed as uh, this thing here. Then to make sure it's renamed as beginner course dot zes. If you're gonna do for Moomoo Meadows, make sure it's called farm course dot zes. And and for mushroom gourds, and then so on and so on. And you get the idea. So that's pretty much all you have to do for that you just download the course and then you just stick it in your my stuff folder and then you just rename it as you should and that is it and it will work <laughs> simple as that it really is that so easy for custom textures and I advise you maybe checking out a fair few of these guys some of these are really really impressive and look and it will come down to what your own personal taste is but I advise checking these out and if you have CGP then yeah, make sure you do use this uh, stuff as well. Um, and I also will put the link in again in the description to install CGP if you haven't done so already. So, yeah. <laughs> so, anyway. So, next thing I'm going to show you guys is how to install custom music into the game. So, now, you want to use Audacity for this task. I would advise you to use Audacity for this task because it's probably the easiest thing to do. Okay, so really, I'm just going to import like any old music here. Uh, I'm probably going to I'm going to use uh, Lost Palace because that. So this song, this is the song I used for Cupcake. And yeah, so what you, I might just turn this down a little bit. But what you want to do is, so, the song will play as it is. So, well, how you want to edit the song is, if you see this little bar up here, 
you want the song to make sure it's in the red. Now it's already at the red level, so that means you only need to put it up probably two decibels. Because there's so much background noise when you play Mario Kart where you want to make sure that the, the music is loud enough to hear. So, you, at minimum I would always put it up to three, and if it still isn't in the red after three, you probably want to put it up to six or something like that. So, yeah, and then once you do that, you literally just go export as wave. You want to export as wave, not mp3. And then you want to just name it after the track, which I think... Uh, I'm pretty sure that Cooper Cape is... The file name for Cooper Cape is... Give me a second, guys. <sighs> Gotta get in my stuff folder. Okay. The file name is SDRM, yeah, SDRM Cooper, yeah. Or is it Water? Eh, I don't know, it's either Cooper, I think it's Water, because I think Cooper is the uh, Bowser one. So I think it's SDRM Water. So you want to call it SDRM Water N, because that's the file name for Cooper Cape. And then save it. And I'll just double check that is correct. But the, all the music, all the files are here, all the file names are here, so there's not really anything to worry about. Yeah, Cooper Cape S D O M and Water N. So there you go. So once you do that, then then you want to make the music for the final lap. And the final lap, as you guys all know, in Mario Kart Wii, the final lap, or in my, any Mario Kart game, the final lap music is always quicker. So what you want to do then is you want to then go hit Control, hit Control A which selects all of it then go change speed and then go to about 1.1 is normally what I go is 1.1 speed difference and then and then play it and then now it's quicker now what I did also for this track is I also I also shortened the song so that way it starts around I made it start around here so I made it start around here, so I ended up removing all of that stuff, and then I started the final lap song from here. Okay, so you get the idea, so you get the idea, so that's how you make it quicker, and look, sometimes you don't have to actually, like, you don't have to change it so that way it starts at a different point in the song, but I just do that anyway, just because I just heard that. Okay, so, once you do that, export as wave again, and then call it... So instead of the end, you want it to be called F for the final lap. So F means final lap, and so on the final lap, it will play uh, this one now. And there you go. And that's how you get those files. Now, next thing, so the next thing you want to do then, after you do that, is then you want to download a thing called Brawlbox. Now, Brawlbox turns the WAV files into the, uh, hang on, I'll just, into the BRSTM file that you need for my cut way to recognize. So, so going here, you want to go file new. Oh, and it, uh, uh, the download link for Brawlbox is here, so uh, I'll put that in and then you just hit download. And it shouldn't take too much trouble to download. I really don't think it, <laughs> I really don't think it'll matter. Um, I don't think, I don't remember having any trouble downloading this app, so you guys shouldn't have any problems at all. And it's completely free, so don't worry about that. Uh, okay, so... So you want to go New Audio BRS Team Audio Stream. And then choose the one you want. Just check it's the right one. Sounds good to me. And then press OK, and it'll just immediately make turn it into a BRS DM file. And there you go. And then, once you do that, just hit Save As. Just save the file into the Master folder. And then that's how you make the custom. That's how you make custom music for this one. It's si pretty simple. It does take a while to do. Like it took me a while to do like all of them personally for myself. But nonetheless, it just it, 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 it's worth it in the end of the day. <laughs> really, it is. So yeah. So before I wrap up today, a couple other things to mention. So I will. 
So there is other custom music packs. Like the one that I remember, I know the one that Troy uses. He uses a custom pack made by, I don't know what his name is. I think it's even, it's Shadow something. First, one part of his YouTube channel name is Shadow. So I know that for a fact, but. Yeah, he um puts he made a, his own custom music pack for anyone to download. So if you don't want to have to make your own stuff, you can just download that one. It's pretty good. Uh, but I would still would recommend. Maybe no, look, maybe you could use some of those in his pack, but not maybe some of them you want to change. If you ever want to change some of the songs for yourself, and then that's showing you how to do it. And one other thing that I need to really mention, guys, and this is a real issue. And I will, um, and I will um, put something. So I'm gonna go to a new one. So when you do this for Toad's, now Toad's Factory is the only one that's really, really weird. And I'm gonna just put up the one I use for Toad's Factory, which is the Doctor's Mine. Now I use this one for Toad's Factory, and well, actually, well, in my in my original video where I used Toad's Factory, I didn't use the song. I used Frozen. I used the Frozen Factory from Sonic Lost World, but whatever. I use this. I use this one nowadays. So I use this one for Toad's Factory, but the weird, weird thing with Toad's Factory, and this is the weird thing, guys. When you start the when you start the race in Toad's Factory. Nintendo made it so that when the song plays, it starts at like the four second point. And I don't understand why they did that. For custom tracks, it doesn't matter. It will always start at the very, at the zero mark or something. But for normal Toad's Factory, it will start at around the four second point of the song. Which I don't get why. <laughs> but that is a very important thing to note. And... If you have a good custom texture, because and also when you um when you drive out of Toad's Factory, the song actually then restarts itself as well. So that's just the thing Nintendo did for the Toad's Factory track. They made the music go really nuts, <laughs> and it's really hard to make a s- song so that the music actually works for it. It's sort of hard to explain, but. Yeah, but just so you know, Toad's Factory is a little bit of a nuisance when trying to do this. But I would advise when trying to do that, make sure you have... Make sure you probably have a song that's either, like, very repetitive or either has, like, a very big, big build-up at the very start. So this one has pretty long build-up. Like, it takes probably at least 15 seconds until the song actually starts. So, yeah. Okay, so around ten seconds, but that's fine. So I don't, I don't think I really, I didn't change the song at all for Toad's Factory. But you, again, when you wanted, if you're doing a song for Toad's Factory, make sure it has a very big build up or very, or is this very repetitive because then it won't really matter. Okay. Well, I think that's all I'm going to say today, guys. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching this little tutorial video, and I'll see you next time. Bye.